Hi there and welcome to this quick tip video on how to layer displacements in Maya. In this case I will be using Redshift, but you can use Arnold or V-Ray. So in this scene I have a dome light with an HDRI connected and the simple sphere to be displaced. Then I also have a Redshift standard shader with the default setup for a mega scans or PBR material with the albedo, roughness, normal, and finally the displacement texture set to raw, even though it's a JPEG file. After creating and connecting the displacement node, these are the default settings. If I launch the IPR, you can see I already enabled the tessellation and displacement options. The only thing I changed was disabling the screen space adaptive, because I want to render an animation and I need uniform tessellation in the sphere. But as you can see in the render the sphere is growing compared to the viewport. And that's because these textures from Megascans have the mid value as 0.5. If you're familiar with Arnold, this option is called scalar zero value, which will shift the displacement amount. In Redshift we need to set the new range to be minus 0.5 to 0.5 and now it's rendering as expected. In the second display layer I have a duplicated sphere with a different shader and as the surface is displaced it will blend in with the first sphere. Now in the displacement node of the second sphere I can play with the range and blend in just the parts I want. The bigger the value, the more will show the second layer. For this case I want to keep it at 0.4. And in the end I have a third layer that will mix some medium sized rocks. The trick here is to play with the range, to blend in a more natural way. In the outliner you can clearly see the three spheres that were in fact smoothed cubes. The animation is pretty simple just rotating the group of spheres for 6 seconds. And this is the rendered animation. The same result could be achieved in Arnold or V-Ray, or even in any other 3D app or DCC. This is a very simple setup, but that can work to create some detailed terrains. Let me know if you used this setup before, or if you have any questions or suggestions. Take care, bye bye.